slides here, and we will, uh, I'll try to go through them uh, rather quickly, but, but uh, also add a few uh, comments along the way. I, I, was, I was struck by uh, something that was said in testimony in the middle of December. We, I'm a member of the uh, Democratic uh, Policy Committee, uh, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, yes, the Democratic Policy Committee, known as DPC. And we often have hearings where we can bring in uh, people who provide testimony. And obviously, in most cases, it's testimony that is uh, kind of in, in the same ballpark as what we as Democrats believe in. Uh, they also, we also tend to bring in uh, a countervailing or, or opposite point of view. But um, some of what the, the Democratic folks said from a, an economic uh, perspective about the recovery and about the bill and about where our economy is now struck me as very poignant. One of them was a testimony, this is December 16th, by uh, Gene Sperling, who worked for President Clinton and has now worked for President Obama, uh, this time in the Treasury Department. But he said something in, in the third paragraph of his, of his remarks that, that uh, struck me uh, in its um, in its um, gravity for what this president, uh, the Congress, and really the American people were walking into at the beginning of 2009. Just imagine this. It's, it's about as simple as you could get, but as stark and as compelling as you, as you can get. When he talked about U.S. household wealth in the fourth quarter of 2008, here's what he said, and I'm quoting, U.S. household wealth fell by five Point one trillion in the uh, fourth quarter of 2008, unquote. That's what we were up against as a country and as a Congress and certainly the President. Uh, that's, what, what, that's what was confronting us. And here's what he said on uh, the second page of his testimony. He talked about the uh, gross domestic product uh, change over time. He talked about where we were in the first quarter of 2009 and where we were in the, uh, in the third quarter in terms of the effect of the recovery bill, among other uh, considerations. He said, and I quote, the swing from negative GDP growth of minus 6.4% in the first quarter of 2009. So we're down at the end of the first quarter of 2009. We're down almost 6.5 points in negative territory to positive growth of 2.8% in the third quarter was the largest two-quarter swing since 1981. So when, when I go through this, uh, some of the, the data here and some of the information about the recovery bill, uh, you don't have to take my word for it that it's had an impact. Uh, I wish it would, but you don't have to. I'm not an economist. I'm a public official. So there are limits uh, to what we can um, opine about. But uh, Gene Sperling and folks like him are pretty smart, and I know there are others in the room who could match that degree of uh, scholarship and experience. So it is working. It's not working fast enough for, for a lot of Americans, and, and we have to be cognizant of that and understand that. But it is working. So for the folks who voted against it, just like they voted against virtually everything that we've done the last, uh, even in, the, in the, the latter months of the Bush administration, they wouldn't vote for the, the uh, emergency economic stabilization uh, legislation to get the economy from falling off the cliff. They voted against that, the Republicans. Then they voted against the, the uh, recovery bill. Uh, and then when health care came up, uh, they had no ideas. To this day, they haven't submitted a, a plan, a real bill, a real, a real counterproposal. If they had done that, it would have been an interesting debate in Washington, but they didn't. They said no to, to keeping the economy from falling over the cliff, no to the recovery bill, no to health care reform, no to everything. That's their plan, is to say no and to stop the President and Democrats in the Congress from doing not just what we want to do, but what we have to do to rescue our economy. So that's what the, hate to be a little, um, a little bit uh, exercised, and some might say a little partisan, but sometimes you've got to be to tell the truth about what's happening in Washington.